hello everyone welcome back to my channel gems of knowledge so today we are going to deal with the next question of that is question number 9 from the chapter polynomial exercise 4.5 so in my previous video i have dealt with the eighth one so in today's video we are going to solve with the ninth question that is verify in that you can see two questions are given okay first one is x cube plus y cube is equals to x plus y into x square minus x y plus y square okay so either you can take the lhs and find the rhs or you may take rhs and find the lhs so for now what we will do is we will take the right hand side and we will try to find out the lhs okay so how you can do it here is x plus y into okay here you can see this x is multiplied by this whole term okay as you can see okay so here x is multiplied by this whole term that is x square minus xy plus y square okay then plus this y we will take and it is again multiplied by this whole term that is x square minus xy plus y square okay now what happens as you can see x into x square is x cube okay this minus as it is x into xy that is x square y we will get plus this plus x into y square is xy square okay now this plus y into x square y x square okay then plus into minus is again minus y into xy that is x y is two times so y square plus y into y square is y cube now you can see here x square y is in minus and x square y is in plus both gets cancelled okay x y square is plus x y square is in minus both gets cancelled what is remaining x cube plus y cube is remaining which is our rhs which is equals to sorry left hand side which is equals to lhs hence this is verified okay then you can go with the next one as you can see here same thing you have to do it that is this x can be multiplied by x square plus xy plus y square okay then this is minus minus y into again the same x square plus xy plus y square okay then you can see this can be multiplied x into x square is x cube plus x into xy is x square y plus x into y square is x y square okay then this is minus y into x square y x square minus into plus is again minus x y square okay because you can see x into y and y so x y square again minus into plus is minus y into y square is y cube so you can see this is x y square is positive and x y square is negative both get cancelled x square y is positive x square y is negative both get cancelled so what is remaining x cube minus y cube is remaining okay okay moving with the next question that is 10th question question number 10 is factorize each of the following and they have given us that hint c question number 9 so just now we have solved with the question number 9 where we got two formulas that is x cube plus y cube is equals to x plus y into x square minus xy plus y square okay this was the first formula and one more formula we got it x cube minus y cube is equals to x minus y into x square plus xy plus y square okay this was the question number nine from this hint only from the question number nine hint only we have to solve this okay so this is in the form you can see this form that is 27 y cube plus 125 z cube that is x cube plus y cube so this can be written as 3 y whole cube plus 5 z whole cube okay this is in this form so this can be written as 
this can be written like this okay because you can just see here y is only having the cube where 27 is not having the cube so 27 is the cube of 3 3 into 3 into 3 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 we are getting here 125 is the cube of 5 5 into 5 5 5 is a 25 25 into 5 is 125 so this is the question so we have to apply this formula now so what is our x x is 3y y is 5z so in this form we have to apply this that is uh, 3y plus 5z into 3y whole square this is x square as you can see so our x is 3y whole square minus 3y into 5z because x is 3y y is 5z plus again 5z whole square okay so the remaining is 3y into 5z will be as it is this we can open 3y square is given so 3 square is 9y square minus 3 5 15y z y and z plus 5 square is 5 5 25z square so this will be the answer okay so here in this case we have to we have to apply with this formula that is this can be written as 4m whole cube 4 4 is a 16 16 4 is a 64 and minus 7n whole cube because 7 into 7 7 7 is a 49 49 into 7 is 343 so this can be written in this form that is 4 minus 4m minus 7n and again 4m square so x square is 4m square plus 4m into 7n plus 7n whole square so this can be written as 4m minus 7n will be as it is and this becomes 4 square 4 4 is a 16m square plus 7 4 is a 28mn plus 7 square is 7 7 is a 49n square okay so i hope this is clear to you if you are having any doubts regarding this you can comment me down below don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i'll be back soon with another video so till then stay tuned and stay connected thank you